Good afternoon. I'm here to do my uh, my monthly uh, update, market update. And so, uh, but I wanted to start this update with something different today. I want to give you a little insight on a particular uh, interaction I had with another agent. Um, so I had some buyers, we went and showed a house and uh, they loved it. We submitted an offer. Now I'll tell you a little bit about a background on this house. It was listed at 700K. It's in Reno Valley. Um, it's, I did comps on it. And honestly, 700 for this house was priced at the top. If a, an appraiser wanted to be generous, maybe it appraised for 715, 720. So anyways, we go ahead and submit an offer. Uh, we did above list price. Uh, net offer, you know, we asked for some closing costs. Net offer was 705. Okay. So it wasn't like way over list price, but it was over. And so in communication with this agent, I'm talking to her and I'm like asking her, Hey, you know, are we in competition to at least get this house? And she says, absolutely not. And so as I started talking to her, she said she had multiple offers. They, the price range that they had were for offers was between 730,000 and 760,000. Uh, this was a house listed at 700K, which I already felt like was once again, listed at the top of the market. Uh, these people were uh, waiving appraisals. Um, this is in Marino Valley. And I'm, I'm not going to say anything bad about Marino Valley. It's got its really nice spots. And then it has spots that are a little questionable. The spot it was at wasn't a bad spot, but I don't know if I would have gone crazy trying to you know bid way over the price of this house. Um, so it was kind of surprising to me, to be honest with you. Um, and what we're going to go into today, we're going to cover median sales price. Uh, we'll touch a little bit on month's uh, supply. And it's just crazy to think that at the end of the year, this fourth quarter, we're typically supposed to see, uh, you know, prices drop. I mean, it's just a cyclical thing and it's not happening this year. So I am surprised. I follow these numbers closely. It's just amazing to me. So let's dive in right away. I'm going to share my screen. And we are going to go into the stats here in just a moment. Uh, if I can get to the right screen here. Okay, here we are. So uh, we're going to just go over the numbers here real quick. This is for Riverside County. Um, this is the median sales price uh, for single family homes. Uh, I'm not going to cover condos, townhomes, but it was pretty much the same thing. But, you know, most people are looking for single family homes. So we're going to limit it here. And we're up. I mean, this right here is what typically happens at the end of a year. This is normal, okay? This is what we're looking at now. We have high interest rates. We did see some good reprieve last week. Uh, we saw rates go down quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't say quite a bit, a drastic amount from what it's been doing in the past. It's been continually going up, uh, but we saw almost a full percent drop last week. And actually, I think if I look today, I want to say the markets were kind to us today, too. Um, if you like to nerd out on this stuff, I always say this. You can follow the TNX. It's a 10-year tre treasury yield. Yep, rates went down quite a bit today. Um, so here we go again. Lower rates, and we're, but we're still in the sevens. We're still in the sevens. We're not like in the fives. And for how competitive it is right now at this time of the year, I think a lot of agents are probably coaching their buyers right now that this is the time to get a deal because I'll tell you right now, when rates go lower and they will, it's going to be freaking busy. And if you thought that it's stupid that people are waiving appraisals now and, and overbidding on a house, you just wait until it's in the 5% range. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's probably what we're going to walk into. But to go back to the pricing right now, um, we are seeing month over month a price increase of two and a half percent on sales price and year over year, 4.3. Okay. So last year in October, we're this year we're at 605 last year in October, we're at 579, 858. So we are seeing prices go up. I just had somebody contact me the other day, uh, wanting to sell their house and like, we, I want to sell it soon before the market crashes. I'm sorry to say, I now look, anything can happen. But I just do not see the numbers pointing to a crash. It's it's insane. I don't like even really saying that because I feel like it goes against the grain so much. But whatever she's watching, whatever she's looking at, uh, 
you know, the news, whatever. She's seen some bad stuff being advertised, but I'll be honest with you, I don't see that happening. And so we're going to jump into the uh, month's supply because this is inventory, right? I've always been talking about supply and demand. Um, I strongly feel that this market is fueled for pricing on supply and demand. And of course, uh, interest rates are going to tie into that. So with lower interest rates, we're going to see more demand. And we just do not have a lot of people listing their homes right now. So supply is low, low supply, high demand <laughs> with the looming uh, thought of more demand because of lower interest rates. I, You tell me what you think is going to happen, but I think it's going to get very busy. I think next year is going to be a tremendously busy year. And that actually doesn't excite me because if you remember 2021, um, that sucked. I mean, I had some buyers I was working with for over a year and I'm not proud to say that. Um, but you know, I was trying to protect them on overbidding for a house, but honestly it would have been best to just overbid right off the bat, get in, lock your pricing because pricing was just going up continually throughout the year. But you can see here, so we're at 2.8 months of inventory. Let me explain this real quick. If we shut off all supply, okay, no one listed a house, it would take 2.8 months to sell all the inventory that we have on the market right now. So um, six months is considered like an equal market where, you know, that's a good amount of supply, uh, lots of choices for buyers. It's an equal market. So we're at 2.8. Okay, that's super low. Uh, technically, this is considered a seller's market uh, based on this number. I'm going to just touch on a few things here. I'm going to go back to median sales price because I know people are curious about pricing. So this was for Riverside County, but I was kind of flabbergasted. I'm going to show you Temecula. And I won't go to too many numbers because I know you guys probably get bored with this. But look at Temecula, man. Like literally, it's just been going up the entire year almost. And so we we barely flattened out in October from September, but still, I mean, it, it's it's there. It's not going down. Uh, let's look at Marietta. If I could spell it right, Marietta, city of Marietta, boom, another price increase the last month. Okay, and and look at here from October to last year October, six thirty one compared to six eighty five. I mean, come on, folks. I don't know uh, what can be more clear than straight up numbers and data. Here's Corona, Corona, 779, 500 in October this year. Last year in October, we were at 700. Okay, so we're up 80 grand from last year in October in Corona. I mean, the, these are uh, here. Let's look at Chino Hills. That's my hometown. Chino Hills. Let's see what Chino Hills is. I'm just curious. I haven't even looked at this yet. Okay, there you go. Same thing. <laughs> it went down a little bit. A million thirty six, <laughs> crazy. I can't believe Chino Hills is that much now. But man, look at this year over year. October twenty twenty two, Chino Hills eight ninety seven to a million thirty six in one year. Now look, uh, let's see how many closed sales they had. Maybe not a lot. Ah, thirty two. Okay, <laughs> uh, that, that's a considerable amount of sales. So, anyways, look. All I'm trying to tell you is. The market's moving. My listings are getting offers quickly, surprisingly, um, as long as you price them right. Uh, so reach out to me if you have questions. I know this is a crazy market. It's a crazy time. I mean, uh, if I was honest with you, I would love to buy another house right now. I don't want to sell mine because I want to keep it for a rental uh, income and just to have more property. But trust me, I was in contract actually to buy a house last uh well earlier this year and the payment just scared me and i decided to back out um you know i'm giving you some more information this is my personal uh situation um i was scared about having two mortgages so um i just you know uh, that was me being a pansy i think i just got to grow a pair and do it so anyways um you know but with that being said i mean i really do want to get another property and um it's just a the, the interest rates suck. I mean, it really sucks. So it makes it hard. Affordability is tough right now. When I'm seeing people having uh, $5,000 mortgage payments, that is just crazy to me. So, uh, but people are doing it because when you compare it to, you know, 
um, like maybe you're renting and you and all that adding up is almost equal to that, then it makes sense. So um, I'll do another video about talking about when's a good time to buy because um, I really do feel like that's a, a relative question. Depends on everybody's personal situation. So anyways, until next time, uh, next month, I'll give you an update. All right, take care, guys. See you. Bye.